Affinity Photo 2 has got a new feature of duplication. What you can do, go here, any of the shapes. I'm just gonna use rectangle for example. Just create it and then go to the arrow keys. Go to the right arrow key and press. Press again, press again, press again. And as you do that, you'll notice you get multiple copies of that design. Go to the down key and repeat. And you can press it, press it all the way down, and you'll end up this quick grid. What you can also do, because of course you can see they're all joined together, which is not brilliant, but you can go to the down key, hold it down, not press it, but hold it down, and that will create a gap. You can go to the right key and create a gap. Now, if you want to remove some of these items, you can always go to the left key, so just left key, or the up key, and you can do the same again with the up key. You can see you can change that. And exactly the same as before, hold down the left key and it will decrease the distance, the gap. And repeat, go the other way with the right key. Now, what you can also do is you can hold down the, and I'm not certain on the PC, what the equivalent is, hold down the control key and you can actually rotate it as well, which is quite really a nice feature. Maybe useful, maybe not for you. Now I've got this design, just release. Once you've done that, you can see you've got all those rectangles. Just go to it, the layers panel, right click and group. And there they are, all grouped. Now I'm just gonna move that one out of the way. And of course you can apply color effects to it, gradients, all those sort of things. Just go to the gradient tool and just add a gradient, something like that. Let's just go over and show you another tool. I'm just gonna go here for diamond. Diamond tool, good as any. Again, just create that. And of course this time I've got a gradient there. Do exactly the same, right arrow. Just press it repeatedly and it will create all those diamonds. Down key and you create those as well. Of course, once you're happy with it, just release and there they are. You can still modify, of course, you've got all these control points. You can modify that. Now they're not all gonna change. Be nice if they did, but they don't. But what you can also do, of course, is you can apply it, and I'm gonna group it again. That's probably the easiest way. Just go there and right click and group. And of course you can apply any effect. Maybe one of these new effects such as layer and new life filter layer and go down to distort and mesh warp. And apply a mesh warp to this to distort it and create all kinds of unique designs. So that's a great new feature of Affinity Photo version two. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.